It's cold, and we're back, finally doing the second half of Rare Raiders. Because when I mean the second half, is the is the expansion to the bloody Kickstarter that took us six months to get here. So first things first, um, in their Kickstarter they wanted to do sleeves, but since they couldn't do it, they're giving us these. It's upside down. It, there, loot cards. So these are new loot cards, and if you guys can read it, a lovely apology on the back. Lovely apology about dear backers, blah blah blah. Small text, small text. I can't read, can't read it right now. Whatever. Don't worry about it. More gear. So you guys know how loot works in this game. So let's see what the, some of these are. So there's uh, Dead Man's Manacles. Next one is uh, Space Time Sarsaparilla. I think that's supposed to be like a drink of some sort. Comes in a keg. It's a keg. Um, long Rifle. Looks really nice. Looks like a sniper rifle. So. Another gun. So actually, I'm gonna hold it like this. Long rifle. So I don't have to hold it up anymore. Another sarsaparilla. Space time sarsaparilla. More beer. As you can see, time is spelled with a Y in this game. Long rifle. Cog suit. Ooh, I like this one. Hold out knife. It's both a um, brass knuckles, brass knuckles and knives. So, look like this is gonna get personal. I I can't speak Western. Carl, <laughs> cog suit again. Another hold out knife and another dead man's uh, manacles. So, alrighty. So now for the big thing. With a big reveal. I know somebody's gonna be excited when he sees this video. First off is the old time religion. So this is the one of the two expansions that they have. So as you can see, this one starts comes off with a an extra um, character character outlaw and the new. Um, bots, and as you can see, there's a, the cards are already sticking out because it's not properly secured. So let's open this bad boy. It looks like it's a nun with a gun. And that rhymes. In time. Ha! <laughs> wibbly wobbly. That's all we got to say. Wibbly wobbly. Ah, these things, I hate these things. They do, they take 10 days to shrink wrap one box. Ah. So old time religion. You guys wanna see the back? That's the back. So more dice, more cards. More dudes. More guys, but these guys actually have specialty um, powers to them. So let's see what's in the box. What's in the box? No, it's not a fetus. It's not a dick in a box, neither. Ah, look! More carts. Cars. For the train. Oops, I'm holding this one upside down. The other one's also upside down. Aha! So, it's a chapel. For some reason, there's a chapel in the train. In the space train. Law, law bot maintenance. Yeah, looks to be like a law bot thing. And, yeah, nice! Very creepy, very dark. It's a mortuary. <laughs> On a train. On a train. Space train. So these bots are a little bit different. Here's the other character. His name is Dr. Umbra PhD. As you can see, he's actually pretty cool because I like, I like the whole coffin thing. If you guys ever see me play Malifaux, I love my guild marshals, death marshals. So... So here we are. They actually as um so basically when you play this game you switch out a couple of guys for these guys. 
and we'll talk about it. There's a uh, things down here, rules down here. Uh, whoops! As all the guys fall out. Yep. This guy here. This guy here. This guy here. So you basically switch out paw bears, and there's actually a named robot in here. Are the bots so there are three new robots I think there are the oh look more dice more dice so these guys with the coffin sticking out those are paw bearers so they're cool uh, these guys here with the pistols are preachers and this is a named character named 999 but if you look at it upside down, it's actually 666. Look at it upside down. Oh, wait, 999. So he's 999. So that's this guy here. Um, and here's the card for Dr. Umbra. PhD. Oops. Let's move these guys out of the way. So we get. Ah. Uh, these things are so unpredictable. Look at this. This is 90% air. Could have done this in a small box, but no. They want it in a big box. So that was Dr. Umbra. This is the other one. Mutha Superior. Mother Superior. Sorry. Ah, uh, yeah. Hey, look, and we got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine new high noon cards. So, got to have faith. So, take uh, this one's actually pretty cool. Take one high noon card from this the discard pile, shovel it into the high noon deck. So, basically, this gives us, this gives us more time. Unlike the other ones where discard the next three cards from the high noon deck. Same thing. Same thing. Salvage until the end of turn. Whenever you destroy a lava, put a loot token on the car you are on. So basically, you salvage lava for money. Some more money. That's more. And then spray, spray and spray. It's it's the same one from the actual game. During the first showdown, you may you are involved in this turn. You may reroll up to all your dice. Guide my name. Next is the new items. Here are the new items. New loot cards is the Philly Peacekeeper. So 45. So that looks pretty cool. There's three of them in here. Here's the fully auto hand cannon. Low boss and all readers can't roll additional dice when this weapon is being used. Really nice, and then we have a, a, a medical bag. Medical instruments. When a lava beat you in a fight, you decide which adjacent car you move, you are moving into. So. Last but not least, here are. So as you can see, this is the rules for the preachers. So preachers right here. If at least one preacher is in the same card as the Raiders, you may perform the move action or is moved as a result of a fight, the Raider loses a dollar. So if you basically pass a card with a preacher in it, you lose a dollar. Preachers do not allow lawbots to reroll an additional dice during fights like normal marshal. So this counts as a marshal. So you also takes your money. Yeah, so you replace a marshal set with one of these guys. So it's like donating money to the church? Yes. Paul bearers. If a raider is moved as a result of a fight while well, on the same on the same car as a Paul bearer, I lean the cameras going away. Uh, one Paul bearer will move to the same car that the raider moves to. This can happen multiple times. If multiple raiders are moved due to the same fight, Paul bearers do not allow lawbots. 
to re uh, to reroll one of their dice during a fight like a sheriff. So this counts as a sheriff. The pallbearers counts as a sheriff. So in other words, you lose, they move with you. Mm. Which sucks. So that's a quick handy two sided um how they work kind of Yep. Now more law cards, law box cards. Ooh, this one's called 999. Like I said, 999 is a um, unnamed character. Uh, put 999 on a card. If 999 is already in play, put one deputy. So this one counts as a deputy on the card instead of 999. It, uh, instead, 999 is a marshal. Oh, never mind. He's considered a marshal. Uh, 999 is a marshal. Additionally, when whenever law boss lose a fight while 999 is present, with other Lobas during the fight, 999 is moved to an adjacent car of the winner's choosing instead of the lowest ranking Loba being destroyed. So instead of destroying Lobas and gaining double dollars, you move them anywhere else. So that basically saves Lobas on the same car, which sucks. Um, money are still scored as though the lowest ranking Loba has been destroyed. So. Oh, you still get money though, regardless. So yeah, never mind. So you still get money. But instead of destroying them, they they stay, I guess. So. so it looks like there's going to be a lot of these. Ooh, indulgence. Double dollar indulgence. Put a marshal on the car, lose one double dollar for each sheriff and marshal on the car. So that sucks. If you don't have enough, then you lose all your money. Yep. Remember, pallbearers. Paul bears and where is it? Paul bears and preachers are counted as though as they were marshals and sheriffs. So this actually hits you too if there's a Paul bear or a preacher in in the car. Uh, if you don't have enough money, then you lose all your money. Yeah, you suck. Wow, how do you say that word? Teeth. Like teeth. Teeth. Put one sheriff on the car. You lose it. You lose a dollar of Abel. Yeah, wow, this game's all about taking your money. Yep. The Holy Order of Moo thanks you for your donation. <laughs> That's actually a funny, I love this um, quote. <laughs> Moo. Moo. Bovine. So again, you could actually, this can actually um, uh, spawn a um, Paul Bearer too. So from what I've been reading, pallbearers and sheriffs can go back and forth. So if you have, let's say, I think you um, in the game there's only two pallbearers uh, and two sheriffs, you could switch out a pallbearer for a sheriff and vice versa. So, so that's the card for this game set. Actually, let's double check that. Uh, So this theme of this um, of this expansion, yep, all time religion, new lawbots. So in other words, expansion includes five models uh, for two new types of lawbots, three pallbearers, and two preachers. Pallbearers are alternate type of sheriff, and preachers are alternate type of marshals. Before you start playing, before you start playing, you may replace any sheriff or marshals. With pallbearers or preachers, respectively. Whenever a long arm of the law card tells you to deploy a sheriff or a marshal, you may choose from the pool of law bus that you're using for the game. So you could, you could switch either or. Alternatively, you can just play with all the law bots all you own. No more than 14 law bots can be on the train at one time. Once 14 law bots are in play, law bots are in move around. The parts of the trains when the extra uh, long arm of the law tells them to, to de deploy them. Pallbearers and preachers affect the game differently than other sheriffs, and uh, um other other sheriffs and marshals from the core game. So yeah, and then there is legendary law bots, Professor Zepp. Oh, that's this guy actually. La legendary law bots to keep peace. Um, each layer roll comes with the long arm, the law card, which is the 999 card, which he gets um, deployed to. So, yeah. Um, so, 
So basically the 999 is considered to be a a marshal. So he'll be the last one to go. Yep, that is actually really cool. In the game and remains in play until the yep. So actually no, that's the thing it's um deputies first, then marshals. Oh, is it, well, yeah, I think it's a deputy sheriffs, then marshals, then after marshals, if there's any legendary lawbot, which is this guy here, then he dies. So that's all time religion. So the basis of this expansion is all about religion and creepy pallbearers and creepy train station. Um, train cars? Train cars, like the mortuary, which is. Really creepy. I don't know why they would add a mortuary there. So there's dead people on the train. It's it's a it's dead robot in the. In, I think it's a dead robot. I don't know. There is blood all over the place, and there's actual coffins. I'm just looking at this. This this thing actually have coffins. Let me let's get this in here really quick. I'll show you this. This is really creepy. Is that I just noticed this. These are coffins. You see them? They're all lined up against the wall. Mm -hmm. Right here. They're mm -hmm. all coffins. So. That is creepy and scary and awesome at the same time. So that's the first expansion mm -hmm. is the old time religion. The next one that's coming out. Get the garbage out of here. Is this. The good, the bad, the bot. So this one is more themed to like the Civil War because some of the um, law bots look like Union soldiers. So and then there's this there's a very very nice looking guy over here. So the good, the bad, and the bot. There's the back. More cards coming in, and this one also has an extra. Another um, legendary bot. So if you can see it correctly, it's this one right here. This one. And then you have the cavalry guys. So let's see what this one looks like from the inside. Man, they packed this thing tight. Huzzah! So as you can see, new bots, cavalry bots. There's three of them. Two of these guys, I forgot what they are. I think these are um, cavalry soldiers. And then there's a legendary one, which is this guy here. So he's pretty cool. Yeah, so let's see. Let's start with the cart. Cars, a blown out car. Basically looks like it's been destroyed. So in this end looks like it's been destroyed, so next one is why is this upside down? Next one is the high class passenger car. In other words, like first class in a plane. There's two of them. And then there's one of this one, which is weird. Because the other one was two of each. This one has a weapon system and a blown out car. So, now for the cards. Cards all. We have. Oh, cavalry captains. That's what they are. So, the new two, two new characters is right here. Too close. Too close. Back up. Yeah. It's John Grizzly. Oh, only one? Oh no, there's the other one. Pancho Profecto. Wow. That's all I got to say. And then here comes the new High Noon cards. New High Noon card. Mysterious Stranger. You may move to an adjacent card that costs no... This costs no actions and isn't, and isn't a move action. So that's cool. So you can come up and move 
closer to people. That was like four of that one. This gun's tune. If you have at least one weapon, you uh, you roll one additional dice during the fight until the end of your turn. Huh, nice. Laser fire, the sweetest sound in the galaxy. That sounds like something from Firefly. An easy partnership. Until the end of your turn, you may agree to team up with another raider involving in a fight you are in. If you and the other raider agree to team up, then you both roll one additional die during the fight and either and if either of you win, then the other the other isn't moved. Oh that's pretty cool. So basically if you roll, you both roll, and one player ends up losing to the lawbot roll, but the other one wins, neither one of you guys oh that the one who lost is not gonna move. An easy partnership, but you know, you could also shoot each other. You could team up against one person with Geronimo who could throw people off the freaking train. I love Geronimo. Okay, next one. These are the new loot cards. Oh, nice. Instead of bulletproof vest, it's a blast proof vest. Hey, where did where was this when um, Boba Fett needed it? If you if you don't have the highest rank hand before rerolls in the showdown, you may reroll one dice. That's actually pretty cool. Uh lucky banana. Before you roll dice, uh, before you roll dice, you may uh, for any reason you may pay one double dollar. If you do, you may reroll one dice during the reroll during the roll. Ooh, nitromite. And so instead of dynamite, it's nitro. Uh, you may use an action to put this card on the car you are on. While this card is on the car, before the dealer's turn each round, the dealer rolls one dice. If a K or higher is rolled, destroy all lobos in the car and all raiders in the car are th <laughs> thrown off the train. No one scores double dollar for the destroyed lobots. That's awesome! So it's basically a dynamite. <laughs> you can blow up a car. And there's two of them! <laughs> Alrighty, now let's see what these guys can do. So, cavalry soldiers, hello! Uh, cavalry soldiers, if a raider starts their turn on a car or moves into a car with uh, during their turn that has a cavalry soldier on it, then they may only perform the move action once during the once during this turn. So basically, once you move into it, you're stuck. Or if you're in it, you can move only once. You can only move, do the move action once. Uh, cavalry soldiers do not cause lobos to reroll on their dice. They are count, counted as sheriffs. Next one. Captain. Cavalry captain. After determining the dealer for a round, if a cavalry captain is on the car without any raiders on it, move... Move them and one other lawbot of the lowest rank on the car with them one car towards the nearest raider. Raiders, the dealer makes any decision necessary to resolve this ability. Cavalry captain uh, allows lawbots to... Um, Cavalry captain allow, allows um, lawbots to, re uh, to roll an additional dice during fight just like normal martial. Whoa, wait a second. Hmm, so this is the only good one because not only does he have his special, but he keeps the special as a marshal. This one, as a sheriff, he's still considered a sheriff, but it does not cause him to, it does not let him re roll dice, which is insane. I like that. So this is more, um, more threatening. New long arm of the law. Real predicament. Put one marshal on a car. Move one of the lowest ranking lobos on an adjacent car to this one. So basically, this it looks like the theme of this one is moving lobos from one roll to uh, from one car to the other. Lieutenant Deadeye, which is the this guy over here. That's Lieutenant. No, that's not him. That's Lieutenant Deadeye, sorry. That one was a cavalry soldier with a shotgun, apparently. Hmm. 
Lieutenant that I put Lieutenant that I on the car. If Lieutenant that I is already in play, put a sh one sheriff on the car instead. Lieutenant that I is a sheriff. Is a sheriff. Additionally, raiders can search while they are on the car that are adjacent uh, that are adjacent to the car that Lieutenant. So that sucks. So if you're in a car in front of Lieutenant Jedi, uh, Jedi or behind Lieutenant Jedi, Jedi, you can't search both. Either one. So, but he also still counts as a sheriff, so he still has the sheriff power. There's three of them. Holy crap. Shoot, uh, sh uh, shoot, don't talk. Put one sheriff on a car. Oh, this is a grip one, so this one stays until... Yeah, when you start a showdown with a lobot on this card, lose a double dollar. Score one. Oh, it score? Lose? Oh, it is score. Score a double dollar. So there's three of them. So as you can see, these the cards in this one feels like it's more moving. Um, guys around. So why is that one has a shot? Oh, he has a pistol. I thought it was a shotgun. So again, new law bots. They count. Uh, I already told you they already count for something. Here are the new. Um, Lieutenant Deadeye, Captain Cavalry, and Soldiers. So Soldiers counts as Marshal, um, uh, Captains counts as Sheriffs. So wait, oh, let's double check that. Three Cavalry Soldiers and two Captains. Cavalry Soldiers are alternate types of Sheriffs. Sorry, so uh, Soldiers are Sheriffs, these are Marshal. <sighs> yeah, so cold. So, yeah, these guys are pretty cool. So, and then Lieutenant that I is basically a, considered a sheriff. Yep, Lieutenant that I is a sheriff. So, these two, um, two expansion packs actually prompts the, um, the game from four player up to five or six players. So, anyways, so that's it. Took us a long time to get it, but this is finally here. The last of Rail Raiders is finally here. I'm hoping that this is not gonna happen to the other two that we back, which is Rail um, Relic Knights and Super Dungeon Explorer Legends. The only thing I really wish for now is to have SDE cards for these, for this one. So, and that's it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to uh, leave a comment. So, until the next time, be good, be bad, be the bot.